everyone my name is Chantelle and welcome back to my channel this is my second channel and if you would like to check out my main channel where I create miniatures and dioramas and do stuff with polymer clay please check it out in the iCard section the month of October is a very busy month for me because on my Instagram I have Birdtober going on instead of Inktober now I am planning on doing painting videos and swatch videos and review videos very very soon however i need to find and make time for that but in the meantime i want to show you these books that i collected over the last few months some of them are related to sketching and drawing and art and some of them have to do with miniatures which is an art on its own so let's start with the miniatures and i'll get to this after that miniature books I have four here and all of them are secondhand. Now I can't go through every single book and every page because that's copyright infringement. However, I will show you the table of contents and a few pages of the books and how much I paid for them. So this one is Making Miniatures by, sorry for the reflection of my ring light, by Venus and Martin Dodge in 12th scale. So I paid not six dollars, but actually three dollars for this one. This is the table of contents. And all these rooms, this is a book from 1989, and all of these rooms are made with actual wood. So there's one of them, which is absolutely beautiful. And I get these books mainly for inspiration and um, basic ideas to see what I can do because I'm all kind of new to to this miniature world. But uh, yeah, this definitely sparks my inspiration. So that's this one. The second one is Making Dolls Houses in 112th Scale by Brian Nichols. And for this one I also paid $3. So we have a secondhand bookstore that has ex-library books. As you can see here, it's an ex-library book. And they have, every so often they have a 50% off everything sale. So that's when I get my books. That is the table of contents. And the main thing why I got this book is because it's got a Victorian shop in it. Tools, Victorian shop. Looks absolutely beautiful. And this is all the timber requirements that you need if you really want to make that as in a one-on-one -on -one copy of that how to assemble it and this is what the other side looks like so there's many many projects in this one um, that are absolutely amazing I'd love to show you this one it's an attic of a fisherman's house absolutely amazing so that's that one and the next one is Miniature Interiors by Nick Forder. Inspirational Interiors for Dolls Houses. So this one says $15 and I actually bought this one for $15 because it was somewhere else. And it has a Victorian Gothic bedroom in it. So let's, um, let's flick to that one. But yes, mainly inspiration. Doesn't that look amazing? I can just imagine Dumbledore's bed to look like that. And probably he would have a vanity cabinet like that as well. Actually, it looks a little bit like Hogwarts. So yes, that's um, that's one of the main reasons why I get these books. I, I absolutely love them. And then this one, this is a bit of a special one. The Enchanted Doll, Doll's House by Robin Johnson. 
and this is Flip Out. So I think this is meant to be a kid's book, although I wouldn't give this to my two-year-old, to be honest. And um, it starts like this. It's that just that's just magical for me. It's all embossed. So this was a second-hand book as well. I think I paid about five bucks for it. Um, here you can um, feel some velvet. You can actually feel it. Little flaps that flip open like that. And this is where it starts. So this is a medieval doll's house and what it would have looked like if, you know, you had a medieval doll's house on the inside and the outside. But you can flip this up and actually tuck this into here. And then when you set the book up, it is actual 3D. So you can leave that as is, or what I do is I just leave it flat. There we go. So we can actually look inside. So I'll take you to, and it has some information as well about medieval period and, you know, letters and whatnot. the king I just love these kinds of books uh, neoclassical Victorian so completely different from the uh, from the medieval one is this one but if you want inspiration for doll's house this is such a good base to start on and um, yeah see what the outside looks like as well just let me show you one more this is a early 20th century doll's house I love this it looks very French to me with bigger rooms overall so that's it for the dollhouse books I hope that gives you some inspiration Next up is this one, Fame Maker. And I would love to dabble a little bit more into this book and make characters that are a bit out of proportion. You see the hands and the feet are bigger than what they normally should be. So this book, I think I got for another two or three dollars. It, it can't be more than that because it's an ex-library book as well. It says everything you need. And then it actually goes into how to set up the armature um, with the polymer clay heads and feet and hands. And how to make hands and feet and heads as well. And all the other features. And I want to show you one image that's in the back that I absolutely love which is one of these, but there's another one, it's that one. Just gotta love these guys, right? Steam Fay. Gotta try and make them at some point. But yes, that's one of them. Next up, this is, this is something cool. So, back from Cutest Voodoo, she showed this on her YouTube and I thought it was awesome. So I had to have it and there's two. So I got both of them in not too long this week, actually, Beck and I will do a first prompt out of this book. And she's already done a few drawings um, on her channel, but this is basically what it is. It is a sketchbook, like it says on there, a sketchbook. And it has horror prompts in there. It's basically, you can just do whatever you want. So this is all that there's to it. There's not even an intro. 
This is just a sketchbook. So yes, look forward to that video on my second channel. Uh, no, not my second channel, on my main channel. This is my second channel. So those books are cool. Then I saw this book. It is by Mina Lima, designed and illustrated. And it is the first in hopefully all of the books by Mina Lima. They have illustrated it and designed this whole book. And it's absolutely stunning. I can't go through the whole book because again, copyright. However, I will show you one of my favorite pages, which is this one. Isn't that just absolutely stunning? I'm so glad I got this book and um, this is one of those protective pages that just falls out. Um, I'll definitely be getting the rest as well, obviously. I'm a really Harry Potter fan and this is just absolutely stunning work by them. So I saw it on the on the Potter Collector, I think it was. Yeah, or um, Cherry Wallace and uh, I got it the same day as I saw it. I think even the day it came out. So there's that. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna get this book as well. And then last, but certainly not least, I have the Sketchbook Idea Generator book. Mix and match prompts for your art practice. Now, as you all know, I've got the Hemi, or in my case, the Artex gouache, and they're the same. They're actually absolutely the same. And I thought this book would be fantastic for my gouache practice. So what this book is, so you've got um, techniques here, and also at the back, at the very back, you got styles and more techniques. But what this book does is it has a subject, a medium slash technique and colors. And what I want to do with this book is just leave this one as it is and randomize these two. So in this case, I should make my dream art studio in these colors or make a mushroom patch in these colors. And I want to use gouache for that. I think, I don't know, just looking at this book and the colors, there are such flat colors because of the, how it's printed. I think this would be perfect for gouache. And let me see, so this book, so it starts at page 16, 17. And the last page is 145. So it has a lot of, um, it has a lot of prompts. And obviously I could pick whatever prompt and then have the same palette at some point. But yeah, it's just, I thought it was so interesting. I've never seen a book like this before. And um, yeah, I am, um, I'm definitely gonna get good use out of that. Let me know if you find this interesting. Let me know if you find this video interesting at all. And I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.